To win a particular lottery game, a player chooses four numbers from 1 to 60. Each number can only be chosen once if all four numbers match the four winning numbers, regardless of order, the player wins. What is the probability that the winning numbers are 3, 15, 46, and 49? So the way to think about this problem, they say that we're going to choose four numbers from 60. So one way to think about it is how many different outcomes are there if we choose four numbers out of 60? Now, this is equivalent to saying how many combinations are there if we have 60 items. In this case, we have 60 numbers. And we are going to choose four. And we're going to choose four. And we don't care about the order. That's why we're dealing with combinations, not permutations. We don't care about the order. So how many different groups of four can we pick out of 60? And we don't care what order we pick them in. And we've seen in previous videos that there is a formula here. But it's important to understand the reasoning behind the formula. I'll write the formula here. But then we'll think about what, what it's actually saying. So this is 60 factorial over. 60 minus 4 factorial divided also by 4 factorial, or in the denominator, multiplied by 4 factorial. So this is the formula right here. But what this is really saying, this part right here, this part right here, 60 factorial divided by 60 minus 4 factorial, that's just 60 times 59 times 58 times 57. That's what this expression right here is. And if you think about it, the first number you pick, there's one of 60 numbers, but then you, that number is kind of out of the game. Then you, you can pick from one of 59, then from one of 58, then of one of 57. So if you cared about order, this is the number of, com this is the number of permutations you could pick four items out of 60 without replacing them. Now. This is when you cared about order, but you're kind of overcounting because it's counting different permutations that are essentially the same combination, essentially the same set of four numbers. And that's why we're dividing by 4 factorial here. Because 4 factorial is essentially the number of ways that four numbers can be arranged in four places. Right? The first number can be in one of four slots, the second in one of three, then two, then one. That's why you're dividing by 4 factorial. But anyway, let's just evaluate this. This will tell us how many possible outcomes are there for the lottery game. So this is equal to, we already said the blue part is, the blue part is equivalent to 60 times 59 times 58 times 57. And then, so that's literally 60 factorial divided by essentially 56 factorial. And then you have your 4 factorial over here which is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And we could simplify it a little bit just before we break out the calculator. 60 divided by 4 is 15. And then let's see, 15 divided by 3 is 5. 15 divided by 3 is 5. And let's see, we have a 58 divided by 2. 58 divided by 2 is 29. So the our answer is going to be 5. 5 times 59 times 29 times 57. Now, this isn't going to be our answer. This is going to be the number of combinations we can get if we choose four numbers out of 60 and we don't care about order. So let's take the calculator out now. So we have 5 times 59 times 29 times 57 equal to 487,635. So let me write that down. Let me write that down. That is that is 487,635 combinations. Combinations. If you're picking four numbers, you're choosing four numbers out of 60 or 60 choose four. Now, the question they say is, what is the probability that the winning numbers are 3, 15, 46, and 49? Well, this is just one particular of the combinations. This is just one of the, this is just one of the 487,635 possible outcomes. So the probability, the probability of 3, 15, 46, 49 winning, winning is just equal to well, this is just one of the outcomes out of 487,635. So that right there 
is your probability of winning. This is one outcome out of all of the potential outcomes or combinations when you take 60 and you choose 4 from that.